Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and another unboxing video, this time for the Hotus Warthog from Thrustmaster. A massive thank you to Thrustmaster for sending me this product um, to showcase, unbox and use on the channel going forward. Uh, what am I going to do in today's video? Well, we're going to get this little bad boy out of the box, we're going to have a look through the product, I'm going to show you all the features of it and some extra features as well that the product's got. Um, then we're going to go over to uh, the racing rig. Now. In this video, I'm going to show you an exclusive product from GT Amiga that isn't available on the market yet uh, to help me turn my racing rig into a flight chair. So let's get in. Let's have a look. So first out of the box is the joystick element of the HOTUS. And the first thing you notice is the full metal construction and the weight of it as well. It's got a lovely base plate, uh, base plate on there, um, which is absolutely huge. And I think is gonna stop the need for bolting this down on your desk. I can't see that even with the size and the weight of everything here, that anything is gonna move uh, mid-flight. It's very, very strong. You have got rubber feet on the bottom as well. Uh, however, I won't be using this base plate. Um, it's got four screws there to take this circular part off. I'm gonna be taking that off uh, and putting it onto the brackets I mentioned just a few minutes ago for the G GT Amiga HOTUS brackets. So I won't be using this base, base plate. I'll keep it in the box, but I won't be using it just now. Um, but it's got the HOTUS uh, Warthog um, sign on the bottom there. All looking very stylish. The colors really nice, the, uh, the charcoal black. And then we get to the actual flight, uh, flight stick itself. Uh, again, very, very, very heavy um, to the point where it, you know, you know that this is a, a direct replica um, out of a plane of the ATM Warthog. You can tell that straight away. And when I say replica, particularly this part, uh, the, the the actual flight stick is a direct replica. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen. Direct replica. This is exactly uh, the flight stick you're gonna you're gonna find in the real plane. Um, you've got all your usual hats um, hats up the top there. So these are eight ways. Actually, this is an eight way, and you've got a couple of four way hats as well. Um, not a lot of people know. <laughs> not a lot of people know this, but um, this doesn't have your right. So I'm doing it now because I'm just holding the bracket you screw it onto uh, but you can't yaw in this and that's that's mainly because obviously the, the real a10 hasn't got yaw use pedals I don't really want to add pedals to my flight setup or my elite danger setup if I have to I certainly will what I'm hoping is is that I can use one of the hats but particularly this one um, for my yaw uh, this is a four-way hat actually it's a five-way hat because you can push it down as well um, there's enough buttons here you're not going to be short of buttons on any part of this joystick at all um, and the buttons on the joystick behave exactly, and they're designed to behave exactly how they're meant to behave in the real plane. For example, uh, this red one is the bomb button, for want of a better word. Now, obviously, if that was just a micro switch that you could brush over and, and be very, very sensitive, no good. This is designed to really need, um, it's quite unique, actually. It's 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 almost feels like there's um, air pressure behind it. You have to really push down, and it's designed that way as well. The throttle is a two-part throttle, so you click it once and then you've got further. Um, you've got a little pinky button down here. Uh, you've got one across the top as well. These are nice and easy to press. You've got a pinky trigger as well. Now, don't forget you've got a whole shift system here. Uh, I've seen other people use this as the shift and then you can assign these buttons to be something else as well. Uh, but in terms of um, build quality, literally second to none. I've never felt a PC or gaming peripheral feel like this. This is this is gonna, you know, gaming is all about immersion, particularly flight sims uh, or anything sim really, racing, steering wheels, anything like that. And the more you can add to your immersion, the better. Having your hands on a metal construction as you would in the real plane, is gonna set the immersion levels off. This shows up even Thrustmasters, um, other products, let alone everyone else's joysticks and HOTUSes um, from other manufacturers. This is on another level. I can't tell you how good this feels and how excited I am uh, about playing it. Right, that brings us to the throttle, the star of the show, uh, from what I can see. It just looks so detailed and it's so heavy as well. This thing is really heavy. It's an all metal construction with a metal base, um, which really does put the quality behind it. Um, again, if you are running this on a desk, you are going to have no problem in moving that. It's got rubber feet. Um, I'm going to be attaching it to the HOTUS brackets, which I'll show you in a second. A um, couple of features I'm interested in. Uh, one is the fact that you can split this throttle apart and actually become 
a two-part throttle. Now this is again a, a direct a direct replica. Buttons are I've had a look at the real 8M Warthog. Um, the throttle is like for like. This they've had to put some buttons in different places, but it's a it's a replica of the 8M Warthog. Uh, and being twin engine, that's got um, both um, throttles in there as well. But for games like Elite Dangerous, you can push them together um, and use it as one throttle got lots of buttons on the front here um, and they're proper switches this is going to be it's going to feel so tactile to play this uh, i can't wait for it even in something like elite dangerous which let's be honest this is a flight stick not a space stick but that's fine even in elite dangerous you know to, to, to put your flaps down or uh, to turn your lights on it's going to be absolutely awesome um, so you've got a two-part switch there you've got a two-part switch there this um, it is a single button this is a two um a two-way switch so you, you can do uh one switch there back to the middle and another switch so you can set these whatever you want either in the target software or in game as well um, you've got a flaps button again you can make that whatever you want it and that's it that's effectively a switch off in the middle um, on down the bottom uh, and on up the top and back to the middle you've got a silence button uh, silence button in as well uh, in the in the A10 warthog permanently alarms going off and you can press that to silence them again other games you can use it for whatever you want um, you can increase and decrease this is an analog um, axis as well now actually in the in the real um, A10 warthog up the top here you can see um, you've got friction so this does actually work you can put it um, you can make this smoother or harder now as I understand it um, this doesn't exist in the real a10 warthog it's actually this button here which turns the friction so obviously if you're getting lots of vibration through the real plane you can tighten it up to make sure it doesn't move anywhere uh, but they've changed that around slightly and make that uh, a work a workable button um, up the top uh, I'll put this up so you can see it up the top you've got some more two-way switches so on and off um, so again you can set these to be whatever you want these ones are interesting I like the temporary press or the quick press forward and the on for the switch backwards I like that um, so I'm thinking of different uses for that just press it forward you've got a quick press hold it back you've you switched it on um, you can you get an allen key um, supplied with this as well and you can actually take this this center unit out and have it so it'll go forward so far and then you have to lift the joystick up and push it for the further I'm not going to use that again that's a feature on the ATM Warthog uh, for the afterburner but I'm not going to be using that but again it just shows that there's you know so much thought has gone into this product absolutely adore it you've got on the side um, you've got some more four-way and eight-way hats um, and you've got another one which is off all the way forward and a quick press back so again that that would be useful um, and we've got some other two-way switches here so that's on that way back to the middle off and then on that way China hat there on the reverse side of the throttle uh, we've got another bomb button for example which you could use this one is very interesting this is if you remember the old IBM laptops uh, with a little um, with a little nipple in uh, the middle of the keyboard that's exactly what that is that is a cursor so we can use that as a cursor and it's got a press as well that's going to be really really interesting for um, saving you especially in VR having to keep getting the mouse out you know we can use that as a mouse that's going to be very very useful and we've got a four-way hat here um, you've got your individual um, warthog serial number just down the front as well but it's a very very nice bit of kit I mean there's nothing for me and I've had a look there's nothing like this on the market of this of this caliber this is on another level and I just can't wait to integrate this into my gaming it's gonna I'm so excited about it um, I've been saying for a little while now that flight sims are coming to the channel and of course Elite Dangerous is always here to stay and I can't wait to set this up with Elite Dangerous um, out the box this can look quite daunting there's a lot of stuff here a lot of stuff but you can set it up for what you want. You can start. Um, you can start with everything on the keyboard, for example, and slowly move all of your stuff onto the HOTUS. You, you know, you, you're going to have no luck at buttons here, um, and, and eventually the aim will be that you can use it just with the hands-on throttle stick as it's designed, um, and do away with the keyboard. That's the idea. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Apart from obviously Elite Dangerous putting in the destinations, I'm hoping I can bring everything up onto the HOTUS, and it'd be so cool. 
must just mention as well this is fully backlit as well so you've got a, a lovely green haze behind all of these um, words and letters on the actual throttle um, so it's all backlit as well via the USB USB each so there's one USB per item um, and that's it really I mean it's just such quality that I I've just don't recognize in any other HOTUS I've ever used there's no dead zones on it everything is as it should be I just can't wait to start using it right what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the rig show you my plans if if you like for utilizing it as um, two uses and that's the uh, flight chair and the racing chair now I stream both of these um, genres if you like uh, quite regularly so I need something that's going to be easy to change because certainly when you're streaming and when you're gaming in general anyway you don't want anything to be um, a, a pain it has to be quick and easy so I'm going to put the brand new brackets on now from GT Amiga that aren't even out yet. So this is an exclusive to show you. So if you have got the GT Amiga art um, uh, uh, racing set, you can fit these on. I'm going to see how easy it is to, 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 to change the chair from the racing to the flight stick. So let's get in. Let's get over there and have a look. So this is my racing rig and um, when I'm doing the flight sims and when I'm streaming the flight sims I don't really want this steering wheel um, in view so if you're not streaming then it might not be too much of a problem and you wouldn't have to dual purpose it you could sit there with your flight sticks and leave the steering wheel in place I don't want the steering wheel in place I want to be able to put this on the green screen and just have myself and the flight sticks there so once you've undone these um, uh, two bolts here um, and and a previous purchase I've actually got the caster wheels for this which is which comes separately which are a godsend for moving it around so all we have to do is just push that apart and we can move that out of view and I'm left with just the flight chair which is absolutely perfect so let's get the hotus brackets on there so there are the two brackets in place either side and obviously the top bit I'm planning I'll show you in a second but um, obviously I'm going to screw the uh, the HOTUS and the throttle to them units and then everyday use so I'm going to take the top part of the HOTUS bracket off and store it in a cupboard so we're just left with this basically so obviously the throttle is going to be on here I'm going to take that off uh, and store that in a cupboard and then the you know that's very unobtrusive and it's not going to get in the way of my legs and I can move the seat forward a little bit more that's the plan so what I'm going to do now is um, get them bolted onto the brackets and uh, show you them in place so here I am sitting in the flight rig now as we're going to call it uh, it feels it feels amazing to be sitting here it feels totally different to sitting at the desk I must say um, it you know I look down and it feels like I'm sitting in some kind of pilot seat the flight stick base was very easy to take off four screws underneath and then using the supplied screws with the GT Amiga um, brackets screwed in the bottom same with the throttle everything is literally solid nothing is going to be moving everything is to hand we've got complete control over the seat so you can move that forward backwards uh, you can undo these and move it up to your height to just to suit exactly where you want to be I think I'm going to be somewhere around there um, but feel free to subscribe um, if you want to see me play this um, on a daily basis in Elite Dangerous and bringing flight sims to the channel and I'll be talking about this in the streams and seeing how it behaves obviously at the moment I'm blown away by it but I need to see how it behaves in games um, on a semi daily basis uh, feel free to check out uh, GT Amiga I'll leave the link in the description that apparently will be on their website in the next week or so uh, available for purchase uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video hopefully it's been of some use to you if you are thinking of buying one of these let me know in the description what you think of the joystick have you already got the joystick how is it behaving for you um, let me know if you have got some sort of flight chair or even if you've made your own flight chair but that is it everyone I will see you in the next video